Overnight fire in Belton has left a 16 year old hospitalized. Family and friends of a Belton High School football player are reaching out to the community for help. We're told the house is a total loss. Our Adam Schindler spoke with family members still trying to process what happened. Those close to 16 year old Justin Booth are asking for help to cover his medical costs as he's being treated for severe third degree burns. A Belton home caught fire just before 3.30 Wednesday morning. A fire that left 16 year old Justin Booth hospitalized with third degree burns to his face and hands. Justin lives with his grandfather, but his parents who live in the house next door quickly sprung into action. Noticed a glow coming from my bedroom window and looked out the window and noticed the whole back of the house was totally engulfed in flames. After banging on his father-in-law's window, Justin's father went after Justin. Kicked the door open. My son was laying on the in the hallway, feet towards the door. They passed out, drug him out by his feet. He regained consciousness as soon as he got out. Justin and his grandfather made it out, but now friends are trying to help them cover his medical bills and rebuild with a GoFundMe page. Having to be out of town at a burn center um, and all the medical bills and unexpected, unplanned for expenses that come along with a tragedy like this. Family and friends agree something like this couldn't have happened to a better kid. Justin is just such a loving kid. He's friends with all kinds of kids. He's not a bully. He's not, he's just not the typical teenager that I've been around. People have been donating money and clothes for Justin, but his dad and his grandfather need a different kind of help. We've got a bunch of mess to clean up and it's going to be a long road, but we had, they had no insurance on the house. Knowing the trauma that Justin is going through, they're trying to get as much of this cleaned up as possible before he gets out of the hospital, and they need help with machinery and manpower to get it done. In Belton, Adam Schindler, 25 News. Adam, thank you. Now, there is a second GoFundMe to help with the cost for Justin's grandfather's house. Donations can also be made at IBB Law Office in Belton.